Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to respond to a question that a user had about deleting designs from memory in my design center. The first thing I'm going to do before I go there is talk about memory on the embroidery side. If you go to the embroidery and you go to my pocket, you have a total of 10 megabytes of space, according to the manual, to store your designs. And what will happen is if you have too many designs and you use up all that space, you will get an error message that tells you that you need to clear up some memory. So let's say that I have a design that I want to eliminate and let's say that it's this design right here. I can actually go down to the bottom and I can choose select all, select none, or I can select an individual design and select delete. I don't want to delete that design, so I'll, I'll just return. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to home and we'll go into my design center. And in my design center, if you go to the pocket, this is the memory that is used whenever as you're designing. And if I want to select something and delete it, I can select it and choose delete and choose okay. Now you will notice that I have multiple versions of this. I cannot select multiple versions. It's just one at a time. So I have to select it and choose delete. You'll also notice there's an amount of memory that is associated associated with this as well. We'll choose cancel. And now what we'll do is we'll go into the area where the stamps are. And when you create a stamp in the embroidery, you're creating a saved outline. You can see one, the last one I created is always in this position. In the manual, it says you it will recycle these stamps. I know on my uh, Dream Machine, it would recycle the last six. Obviously, there's more than six here. I'm guessing that it will fill up this page, but what will happen is each successive one is added. It will overwrite one of the older designs. So keep that in mind. If there's something where you need to really know what that outline is, you may want to write that down because when you go in and you select this, for instance, it's not going to tell you the distance that you selected on this design. I hope this answers the questions that were asked. If there are any other questions, please post them to YouTube. I tend to go to YouTube more often to look at the questions since I post my videos directly there than I do to the Facebook groups. I really appreciate all the people that subscribe to my channel and I like the community where we can all learn. Thanks for your time today. Have a good evening.